The James Webb Space Telescope offers astronomers an unprecedented view of the cosmos, revealing intriguing discoveries that continue to captivate the scientific community. Researchers have recently directed the Webb Telescope toward an extraordinary array of 5,000 relatively young galaxies. Among them, they discovered a galaxy, the youngest to date, which revealed a series of extraordinary cosmic phenomena, to the point that scientists are baffled as to how it is possible. Well, things may seem a bit fuzzy now on the cosmic timescale, but it's a win-win for science and it's a win-win for humanity. The first published data from the CERS survey shows a region known as the Grass 10 Strip and sends viewers back to a time shortly after the Big Bang. In this video, you can see more than 5,000 galaxies in all their splendor and in three dimensions. The cosmic journey begins with relatively close galaxies, located a few billion light years from Earth, and ends with the Massey Galaxy. This galaxy is 13.4 billion light years from Earth and is one of the most distant galaxies ever observed by mankind. It looks just as it did about 13.9 billion years after the Big Bang. So this new video from the Webb Telescope represents not only a journey through space, but also a journey through time, rewinding cosmic evolution to a period when the universe, at 13.8 billion years old, was less than a third of the time of your current age. The video was the result of data collected by the Kashmi program that explores a region of space called Extend Groth Street, located between the constellations Ursa Major and Boötes. This extended band contains about 100,000 galaxies. Of particular interest to astronomers in this visualization is the Massey Galaxy which serves as an example of the type of early galaxy that the Webb Telescope is capable of studying. In addition, astronomers using the telescope have detected a chain of ancient galaxies extending more than 3 million light years. These galaxies are connected by a cosmic filament that dates back to the earliest days of the universe. This ancient filament of gas and stars could represent the oldest known thread in the cosmic web. This discovery may shed light on how the universe came to be, and also on the invisible threads that hold it together. It is anchored by an extremely bright celestial object with a supermassive black hole known as a quasar at its center. Over the past 20 years, research has discovered that the universe is built on a kind of scaffolding, a series of filaments and clumps invisible to the naked eye. In these clusters, Dark matter and regular matter become very dense, creating the perfect conditions for the birth of stars and galaxies. Between these clusters and filaments, there are very low-density regions of the universe where there are very few galaxies and less matter. Although the filament itself is invisible, it is possible to see how it binds galaxies together. Meanwhile, a quasar, a luminous supermassive black hole, is thought to anchor the filament. The team believes that over time, the galaxies will coalesce to form a cluster much like the nearby coma cluster of galaxies. The team also hopes the discovery will shed more light on the cosmic web, but is also very interested in how the first quasars formed in the infancy of the universe. Speaking of quasars, astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have detected the most distant actively feeding supermassive black hole ever observed. The black hole is also one of the least massive observed in the early universe, with a mass equivalent to about 9 million suns. Which is hard to explain. The researchers looked at the galaxy that hosts this active supermassive black hole as part of the Kashmi Evolution Early Release Science Program, dubbed 3.019. The galaxy looks just as it did when the 13.8 billion year old universe was only about 570 million years old. This is because the processes by which supermassive black holes grow, either by mergers between successively larger black holes or by greedily feasting on surrounding matter, should take longer than the 570 million years this hole took. 
Black to work this means that even black holes of the magnitude of the one at the heart of the Milky Way, which is around 4.5 million times the mass of the Sun, should only be seen in the relatively nearby and therefore more recent universe. The black hole at the heart of Ceram-I-1019 is about 9 million solar masses. This may seem tremendously massive, but many supermassive black holes can be billions of times the mass of our star. However, even at this relatively minute size, the existence of such massive black holes in the early universe remains a puzzle to scientists. Observing this distant object with this telescope is very similar to observing data from black holes that exist in galaxies close to our own, they say in the statement. Rebecca Larson, study co-author and a doctoral student at the University of Texas at Austin. Scientists have long suspected that such supermassive black holes existed in the early universe. But only since the JWST opened its infrared eye to the cosmos in mid-2022 has definitive evidence emerged. The light emissions reveal that the black hole CERS-1019 is actively feeding on the matter around it. Matter-eating black holes like this are surrounded by eddies of inflecting gas and dust, known as accretion disks. The gravitational influence of the black hole not only heats this matter, causing the disk to glow brightly, but also powerful magnetic fields funnel the matter toward the black hole's poles, where it is occasionally ejected in twin jets moving at a speed close to that of light, generating an intensely bright light. A closer look at the black hole's intense radiation could reveal the growth rate of its host galaxy and possibly shed light on its mysterious past. A galaxy merger could be partly responsible for fueling this galaxy's black hole activity, which could also lead to increased star formation. Whatever it is, scientists are studying the data and analyzing it with precision. These data revealed by Webb have drastically changed our way of seeing the early universe. The formation of galaxies only about 390 million years after the Big Bang constitutes in itself a challenge to our model of cosmology. Of course, we can adjust the model based on the revelations made by the telescope, and we are. But much remains to be unearthed from a plethora of information collected by Webb from the early universe. Scientists have also suggested that although Massey's galaxy is the youngest yet, more observations point towards even younger galaxies and black holes that graced the baby universe. Therefore, going back to the drawing board would not only be necessary, but an absolute necessity. And so we conclude our journey through the wonders of the early universe, unlocking its secrets with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope. We are on the verge of discoveries that challenge our understanding and expand our knowledge of the origins of the cosmos. Don't forget to leave your comments and thoughts below. And if you like this scientific journey, I invite you to subscribe to explore together more fascinating mysteries that the universe has in store for us. Until next time.